Hello students, welcome to West Bengal English Medium Guide. In the previous video, I gave you the ex exercise question answers from this chapter. And today I am going to give you the insight question answers from this chapter. Uh, so watch the video till end, don't skip the video. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get for the notifications from the channel on the right time. If you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box and if you have missed any video then please check out the description box or playlist you will get uh, all the videos from there. So let's start introduction to history class 6 West Bengal board and this is your new syllabus of 2024. So this is these are your inside question answers from the first chapter number one from where the word history has been derived the term history has been derived from the greek word historia number two what does history mean history means inquiry or research number three define history history is a study of the past it can be defined as a systematic record or study of the Study of past events in chronological order, that means the order in which it happened. Number four, what is prehistory? Prehistory refers to the period for which we have no written records. Number five, how do historians and archaeologists give information about prehistory? Historians and archaeologists draw conclusions about the prehistory by studying things like fossils, tools, and weapons, bones, and cave shelters. Number six, when did the discovery of fire and the invention of will occur? The discovery of fire and the invention of will occurred in the prehistory period. We have no idea of when exactly these developments took place. Number seven, how does history help us? History help us helps us in many ways. Let us understand people and societies. Let us Let's us understand change and how the society we live in came to be. Provides moral understanding, gives us identity, teaches us how to research and analyze evidence. And the last point, records the changes that have taken place over a period of time. Number eight, what do you mean by chronology? Chronology is the we events are arranged in or according to the order of time number nine what is the importance of chronology in history knowledge of the past in the correct order gives us an idea of what happened first and what came uh, later historians are people who study the past use chronology as the first step towards understanding historical events number 10 full form of bc before common era full form of bc before christ number 12 what do you mean by bce the dates before the birth of christ are referred to as bc just that means before christ or bce before the common era number 13 how are the dates counted in bce the dates are counted backwards in bce the bigger the number when the date is bce the earlier it happened for example 100 bce comes before 99 bce number 14 what is the full form of ce common era number 15 full form of ad anno domini Next one, number 16, what do you mean by CE or AD? The years after Christ's birth are referred to as CE, that means common era, or AD, that means anno domini. Number 17, what is the meaning of AD? AD, anno domini, in Latin it means the year of the Lord, that is Christ. Number 18, how are the years counted in CE? In CE, the years are counted forward. Hence, 99 CE comes before 100 CE. 19. Why do historians use line, timeline? In order to depict historical events in chronological order, historians use the timeline. Number 20. How does timeline look? It looks like a long bar showing the events of the past and their dates. Number 21. When was the first excavation done in Sinauli and how many graves were found? 
In 2005, the first excavation was done in Sinauli by Archaeological Survey of India. ASI when about 116 burials were found. Number 22 who headed the Archaeological Survey of India team. Dr. Sanjay Manjul headed the Archaeological Survey of India. Indian team. Number 23. What interesting information did the excavation reveal? Around 4000 years ago, 2100 to 1900 BCE, there was a class of warrior women in the Ganga Yamuna Duab region who were no less equivalent to men of the clan that they belonged. As warriors, they, these women were given equal respect and importance as men. At least, archaeological evidence concluded the very ex existence of a class of warrior women in the region. Female warriors like male soldiers have been discovered buried with their sword. Number 24. When was second excavation done? What were found? In 2018, a team of ASI headed by Dr. Sanjay Manjul started excavating in a small area 10 burial sites were discovered of which three burials belong to women number 25 why did people travel from one past of the subcontinent to the other people travel from one part sorry that is one part i spell it wrong sorry people travel from one part of the subcontinent to the other, some traveled in search of livelihood while others traveled for trade. Religious leaders traveled to spread their teachings and message and rulers marched in with armies to conquer areas and expand their, expand their empires. Many people traveled to discover new places. Number 26. What is literary sources? Literary sources refers, refer to written accounts from the past. Number 27. Which information do the literary source provide? Literary sources provide information of the social, political, economic and cultural conditions of the time period during which they were written. Number 28. What are archaeological sources? Archaeological sources refer to objects from the past that have survived till now. Materials remain lie buried under the ground and the archaeologists have to excavate or dig them out. Number 29. Which things are included in archaeological sources? Archaeological sources source includes monuments, coins, paintings, sculptures, pottery, jewelry, etc. Number 13. Which informations do we get from archaeological sources? Archaeological sources give information about the level of development of the society, expertise of the craftsmen, trade links and other things. Number 31. What do you mean by oral sources? What can it include? Oral sources refer to information that is passed down through the years by word or mouth. It can include songs, stories, myths legions etc number 32 when was paper introduced paper was introduced around the 13th century in india number 33 how were documents written before the invention of paper documents were written on palm leaves and barks of birch trees bhoja patra before the invention of paper these documents are called manuscripts because they were written by hand number 34 where the word manuscript comes from what does it mean manuscript comes from the latin word manu which means hand number 35 how have the manuscripts destroyed insects time and fire have destroyed many manuscripts number 36 where are the manuscripts preserved some some manuscripts were preserved in temples monasteries and libraries number 33 37 which informations do the manuscripts keep Manuscripts give information on several subjects like medicine, science, religious practices and beliefs. Number 38. In which languages the manuscripts were written in North India and in South India? In North India, manuscripts were written in Sanskrit. Pali or Prak Prakrit while in the South Tamil was used. Number 39. Write the name of divisions of literary sources. Literary sources can be classified into indigenous and foreign sources or works. Number 40. 
which works include in indigenous works indigenous works include works of indian writers which work include in foreign works foreign works include texts by foreigners who visited india at some time or the other and recorded their experience number 42 name name the name two travelers who came to india megasthenes and fahian number 43 what are the divisions of indigenous literature source indigenous literature sources can be divided into sacred and secular literature number 44 what are sacred literature give some examples writings on religious themes are referred to as sacred or religious literature the vedas the epics that means ramayana and mahabharata the buddhist tripitakas and the jain angas are some examples of sacred literature number 45 what are secular literature give some examples writings which are not religious in nature are termed as secular literature this includes poetry drama works on grammar science politics etc arthashastra by kautilya Abhijnan Shakuntalam by Kalidasa and folk tales such as Panchatantra are some examples of secular literature. Number forty-six. Who was Megasthenes? When did he come to India? Megasthenes was a Greek envoy who came to India during the time of Chandragupta Maurya, the founder of Maurya Empire. Number forty-seven. Who was Fahian? Why and when did he come to India? Fahian was a Chinese pilgrim who came to India to study Buddhism. He came during the reign of Chandragupta II, one of the important kings of the Guptas. Number forty-eight. Who are known as archaeologists? A person who studies about the materials remain of the past is known as archaeologist. Number forty-nine. What do the archaeologists do? Materials remain often lie buried under the ground. and the archaeologists have to excavate or dig them out number 50 what is epigraphy the study of inscriptions is called epigraphy number 51 what were inscriptions inscriptions were an important means of recording information during the past these are writings engraved or carved on relatively hard surfaces such as stone tablets pillars metal plates etc Number fifty two. Which material are included in logical sources? Arch sorry, archaeological sources. The archaeological source material includes things like tools and weapons, pottery, paintings, sculpture, jewelry, coins, buildings, and silks. What are monuments? Temples, forts, place, palaces, and other grand structures that were built. are referred to as monuments number 54 which informations do we get from the study of monuments the study of monuments gives us information about the condition of the time when they were built the artistic skill of that time the religion promoted by those who had built them etc the sachi stupa and the ashokan pillar are examples of some ancient indian monuments cave paintings and other artworks are also studied for a similar purpose number 55 what do we get by the study of coins through a study of the coins we can get information about the name of the king who issued the coins the extent of his empire the period of his reign etc coins give us information about the social and economic conditions of the time for example roman coins found in india tell us that the uh, there were trade relations between our ancestors and the roman number 56 what is numismatics the study of coins is called numismatics number 57 name one of the most famous stories of decipherment one of the most famous stories of decipherment is that of the rosetta stone which was discovered in egypt a country in north africa number 59 When and who discovered the Rosetta Stone in seventeen ninety nine? The French discovered the Rosetta Stone. Number sixty named three scripts by which the Rosetta Stone was written. The famous Rosetta Stone, an ancient Egyptian object, which had written in three different scripts: Egyptian hieroglyphics, Demotic, that means a simple Egyptian script, and Greek. Number sixty one, which script of the Rosetta Stone was deciphered and by whom? In eighteen twenty two, the Egyptian 
hieroglyphic script was deciphered by a French scholar Jean Francisco sorry Francois Campolian number 62 what is history that is already given in the previous uh 63 who is the founder of christianity jesus christ number 64 what does the birth of jesus christ refer the birth of jesus christ is reference print from which dates are counted number 65 what do oral sources refer that has already given so we solved the chapter first chapter of class 6 history book west bengal board introduction to history don't forget to like the and this these are the extra question from this chapter and if you want to get the exercise question from this chapter so go to the playlist and find there is uh, the video of class 6 history exercise of this first chapter okay you will find there so don't forget to like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get for the notifications from the channel on the right time if you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box or playlist um sorry if you have any queries and please let me know in the comment box and if you have missed any videos then please check out the description box or playlist you will find all the videos from there so that's all for today see you soon with a new video till then take care and bye